don't know whether it's as dark as it was in Karachi 20 <laughs> years ago, but it was another great day to be at the ground for Test Match Cricket in Pakistan. It was. Um, you think you've seen everything in this game until you see the last five days. There was no reason at all on that feather bed of a pitch there should have been a result, apart from one thing we forgot, and that's Stokes and McCullum. The rate they got their runs throughout the game, and then to go out, that was one thing, to go out there and get 20 wickets on that pitch. I think it's the best bit of captaincy in Test Match cricket I have ever seen to produce a result like that. Um, and the aspects of that then, firstly the declaration which got absolute vindication here tonight, and then the way that he marshalled his resources today. Everything. Very rarely do you get a, a five days where you get everything spot on. The way he sends his batters out the door to go out and have fun and score at 6.7 runs and over, um, to get you ahead of the game, to buy you time towards the end of the game. Then you time your declaration spot on. You know, you said last night there'd been no England captain that would have declared at T. You know, at stages today, people are saying, really, have you got this right, Ben Stokes? Well, he got it absolutely spot on. Every decision he made today about keeping the old ball, keeping himself back for the old ball, getting that ball reverse swinging, whether to take the new ball, he pretty much got every decision right. And his, and his cricketers and his team back him up, you know. They, they will run through a brick wall for him. Anderson, a 40-year-old, 40, 40 coming in on day five, bowling that spell. Ollie Robinson, with doubts about his fitness a year ago, producing spells like that towards the end. Giving Leach the new ball, he had to a little bit because of the lights, but again, Leach delivers for him. So it was an amazing, he described it himself as one of England's greatest ever away wins, and it's very difficult to argue with that. Yeah, he's not a great student of history, Ben. I don't know how much you'd know about England's previous wins, but I think those of us who've been around a long time, and, and maybe those who do know a bit more about England's dim and distant victories abroad, this has to rank amongst their finest wins, doesn't it? Well, you're more of a historian than me, but I can't remember either in my playing days, watching cricket growing up, or commentating a better performance, a performance where you have to get everything right, burst every sinew and, to, you know, walk the walk after talking the talk. We're not playing for a draw. On this pitch, people are saying, well, hold on, you might have to. I think once he's done that and then you put in a performance like that, um, I would say it is one of their greatest ever victories away from home. Uh, tea time came. England still needed five wickets. I'm not sure there'd been another session in the game where five wickets had fallen. How did you rate their chances at that point? Only because it was reverse swinging and they had four bowlers to come. So once they got it, you know, they shined it on their back, they shined it on their neck, they shined it on Leach's head, they got it everything reversing. They finally got it reversing. And once they got that, Anderson, Robinson and Stokes himself bowling that 11-over spell, once they got that ball reversing, suddenly five wickets doesn't look a million miles off. But the only thing, as with Karachi 20 years ago, the lights come. And the difference is, once you get to 4.45, they walk off the umpires. There's no offering it. They walk off. So he, they were up against it time-wise, so they had to get everything right. Um, a great win for England. That's our kind of parochial nature coming out. But when you look <coughs> at the broader picture here, it was pretty much a full house. The crowd absolutely... Uh, enthralled. What about the impact in a broader sense, uh, both on this series, what it means for this series uh, and Test Match Cricket as well? I think if you're going to wait 17 years after to come back here, if the Pakistan fans haven't seen, I know that Australia were here recently, if they're going to wait so long to see international cricket, they want to see days like this. They'll go home disappointed, but they'll go home talking about Stokes, talking about England, and they'll want to come back for more. And that is exactly what Stokes and McCullum are trying to achieve. If they had batted on yesterday and today, this would have been a boring test match and everyone would have been saying, test match cricket, we do not need it. Days like these, four, last couple of days, and what Stokes and McCullum are doing is that people have got their eyes on test match cricket. There have been a lot of people in Pakistan, around the world, watching, and it may lead other people. You know, whoever takes over from Stokes is going to be a difficult Good gig. Good luck, <laughs> because you're going to have to take this on. So there's no holding back, but you need the players to be able to do that. And that's why the, someone like Harry Brook and the way he's batting is absolutely vital because they're the sort of players that McCullum and Stokes want to, to get the run rate up and buy them time. And those young players that you mentioned, like Brook, like Duckett, like Jacks on debut, Livingston on debut, of course, they're multi-format players with plenty of options down the road. Stokes is trying to kind of keep them on side as far as Test Match cricket is concerned. And, of course, when you experience a day like today <coughs> and five days like this, it might make them want a little bit more of that taste. Yeah, I thought you made a good point um, into our studio earlier. 
one day victories, T20 victories, you pack your bag, you go on to the next game. A test match win in conditions like this, on a pitch like this, with your teammates around you, that means so much. In that dressing room now, that will mean so much. When you've put on so much sweat and effort, you can look a 18, 19 year old in the eye or a 40 year old in the eye and you can enjoy that moment together. I know we remember Karachi and winning in the dark. They will remember this for the rest of their lives and they'll want to go on to the next and they'll now want to go to Multan and put in another performance. Um, it is absolutely what you remember as an international cricketer, days like these, five days like this. Uh, and wins in Pakistan don't come around very often. There was that one we referred to in the dark in Karachi. There was one other under Ted Dexter, and that's it before today. So this, England's third win of Test cricket in Pakistan, uh, a remarkable day, a historic day, really. It set the series up beautifully, and it was absolute vindication. Uh, for Ben Stokes' declaration yesterday. England got the victory they deserved. They made all the running here and they are fully deserved to be 1-0 up.